everyone, welcome back. Today we got a new unboxing. I think somewhere around two weeks ago, I can't remember, but I saw on Instagram that people were saying that Chanel price went up like crazy nowadays. And for like their classic, for small and medium, you can still see the price online, but you cannot see the large price. I went on Chanel website to have a look. It was saying that price on request. I like one classic and that's it. Just one classic but the size must fit what I want to use it for. I only have one classic which is the jumbo. That's enough for me but a lot of people are saying that you need jumbo, you need medium, you need small. Uh, at the price point now for Chanel, I really think that if you want, get one size that suits you, whichever color, but uh, don't need to get like four or five of the same classics. Find a size that suits you and then just get that one because now all the classics are all above 10,000 Sing dollars. But then again, it has resale value, it's like an investment. It depends on how you look at it. About a week ago, my SA from MSMBS texted me saying that, hey, your bag is here. And I'm like, so torn. I want the bag, but I also don't want the bag because number one, the price point, I don't know. You know, Hermes have this very mysterious price point. Like nobody knows how much is the Birkin for real. Nobody knows how much is the Picotin for real. How much is the Lindy? How much is this, this? Nobody knows. Uh, except when you are making the payment. I didn't know the price point at that time. And I didn't ask also. But I remember it was above 10,000. And to me, it's very expensive for a bag above $10,000 because I always like to cap it like okay 9000 is the max I won't go above 10000 for a bag like I always say right buy what that makes you happy but I was so torn I didn't even know that if I'm happy or I'm sad or I'm worried or I'm anything I, I don't even know the, the feeling that I was having is so mixed basically is I want it I don't want it and I told them okay I'll see you today yeah and uh, I went over to MBS Having the thought that I might reject the bag, I couldn't. I'm sorry, I really couldn't. It's a very cute bag. It is one of the highly recommended bags. Color, hardware, and size is one of the hardest to get. Okay, I'll do the unboxing right now. Remember to like and subscribe. Okay, number one, we got a Tweety that is already tied to it. God, this thing is huge. Oh god, the box is so big. Get lost. There we go. Let's do it like this lah. Then you guys can see everything. Oh, I upside down the back. Yeah, I upside down the back. <laughs> Hang on a second. There we go. Now this is proper. I didn't even know which side is which side. Let's do this first inside the box. Where did it go? Oh, there. The leather care. This is the first time I've heard, I've heard, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. This is a raincoat for your bag. If people who know about Hermes bags, they should already know what are the few bags that has a raincoat. How many raincoats are there? One, right? Oh god, there are two. Gosh. Okay. We can get wet, but not the bag. So, this is a raincoat that you put over your bag to protect your bag. I don't even know how this works. Is it this way? Okay, this is the first time I'm getting one. I, I uh, My picotins don't need a raincoat. So, this is how it looks like. Yeah, you just put your bag inside, just covering it so that it doesn't get wet if it's raining. So that's all in the box. <laughs> then already tied the Tweety that we bought in, inside. This is how it is. Ta-da! This is... TC leather, that's why you need a raincoat for this bag because if it touches water, it will change colour, like darken the colour. Silver hardware. This is the Tweely we bought just now. This is actually pretty cool because this is the first time I see the Tweely from Hermes that's not silk. 
I actually don't know what it's made of. It's already tied inside. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really not sure. But this one has texture and embroideries, you can see. So one side is blue, one side is white, which matches my regular dressing and all this thing. This is a size 26 Lindy. Itopi. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's called Itopi. A little bit of facts about this bag is it's not a quota bag, which means you don't, let's say this bag is 5,000, you don't need to buy $5,000 of any Hermes items to be able to request for this bag or get offered for this bag. You just have to have some purchases and maybe just make sure that you build a relationship with your SA so that he can actually get one of these for you. I requested this from last year around December and now is 2023 March. So I waited roughly like two months-ish only, which is okay lah. Second thing is, this strap is not removable. Let me open up the bag to show you. So this is the twist. Okay, this I got a bit confused when I was trying to open it in the store. This part, you just adjust to the right place. Yeah, you adjust and then you take it off. This is why a lot of people after they bought it, right? When they're using it, they don't close it because it's so hard to get to the right point here. It's like a, it's so hard to get it opened. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then one opens up. I would say that it's very easy because the flap here, this flap, it just closes it up. So when you are holding your bag either like this or like this, it, you don't even need to zip it up like seriously. This is all that you get for the protection inside the dust bag. You see the inside the bag? There's one pocket here. And one pocket here as well, where you can fit your phone here as well. Inside, there is no pocket here, but you have one pocket here and one pocket here. This is so cute. I get it why people don't really use the strap, because just by holding it like this, it looks so cute. I tried putting it on. Later, I will show you at the end of the video of me carrying this. At the bottom, you can see the five legs. They're all in silver hardware. The handle here, this part is roughly 10 cm. This is supposed to be a 26 Lindy, but because they're all handmade bags, this one is roughly 27 cm. The height here is roughly 18 and a half cm. The drop from here to here, where your arms will be, is roughly 30 cm. So this afternoon, I went over to MBS with my husband. I went in with the Picotin like this. This is a Picotin 18. What I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna take out everything from here to put into Lindy so that you can have a look whether these are also the things that you carry out regularly and whether it fits. Number one is my new Chanel sunglasses. Hand cream. My Chanel XL card holder. A small little perfume. Pack of tissue that is finishing. Okay. This is how it looks like. I still have so much space. You can't even see the things in there. Yeah, this is actually cute. So when I close it up, I just carry it like this. The decision between 26 and 30 is because I find 30 a little bit too big. Because it's not only wider, but it's also taller. Number two is because of the weight. For 30, I find it a, a little bit heavier than 26. This is the first bag that I've got that is above $10,000. This one, I bought it at a great price. I bought it in Frankfurt in Germany. I think I paid Sing dollars, roughly around 8,000, slightly before COVID. So it's not that many years ago. And now it's already almost two times the price. I told you guys before, like, it, when you really like something, you need to get it. If not, the price will only go up. This one in the boutique, though you have to wait a few months, maybe a bit longer, depends on the color, the size, as well as the hardware that you want. This one in the boutique is 12,300 Sing dollars. Not including the Twili. <laughs> this tiny little Twili here is 390 Sing. This one, um, because the texture is not like the silk kind where it's soft and is easily movable, I thought it would be a great addition to protect the leather here. But 
according to Dan, he said that he's afraid that this will be rubbing on the leather and it might peel the leather and all these things. I don't know. I wasn't really listening. I was too overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, then tie it here. I can never do a ribbon this nice. My ribbon is always, this one is on the other side, like upwards. My husband chose this because he said this is rugged, this is unique, and this is nice. And I was joking in the store saying that, oh my god, that looked a little bit like grandma underwear. <laughs> I think Hermes bags are very good investments. Just that it's really hard to get. Though this is not a quota bag, but it's also not readily available in the shop for you. Birkin, Kelly, Constance, Lindy, even Picotin. I think this five types, if you want to buy Hermes, these five types are actually not bad as an investment. Just that Birkin and Kelly, you fetch more. Anyway, today after I went to Hermes to get my bag, I also went to buy my anti hair loss ritual. This guy, the Futura Serum. And let's see if I can fit this in the bag. It's one for one, by the way. I'll check the price later, but let me do this first. Wow, it fits. <laughs> All my things are still inside. You see, all the Chanel guys are all my sunglasses. All those guys are still inside and this guy fits properly. I just want to see if it closes. Ah, see? So if you fill it up to the brim, you cannot close it properly. And the, the, the bend is not nice. You see? Yeah. So if you want to abuse the bag, it's up to you. I try not to abuse the bag. I bought this in Watson in MBS. So MBS Watson have the 3% for the membership thing. So this one is $262.35. Anything to do with the MBS membership, please refer to another video. I will link it down below. Let's try the raincoat. Raincoat for a bag. Wow. <laughs> there are a few ways to carry this Lindy. You can carry it like this. Or like this. And one of my favorite ways is actually doing it this way. Just swing. Because this bag to me I think is more rugged, casual. And suggestion for dressing in this bag, don't have to. Like look at me, I'm wearing like jogger and a pullover and I can go out with this. If you're in a cute dress, I won't suggest to wear it like this. I would suggest you to carry the bag like this. And just at the side. Alright, I hope you guys like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.